walking through the souk on our way to the Church of the Annunciation. Was it one of those hookers that got you? you was it? <laughs> I got hooked and then got hooked. And, and I needed to buy a wrap for my hair. Ah, and how much did you have to pay for this wrap? 5,000 shekels. 5,000? 5, <laughs> <laughs> way for us the dignity of family life, of a mother and a father and a child, and taking care of each other, and learning to pray together, learning how to read scripture together. They were teaching us the dignity of family life. So what I want to do is give you an idea of what it was like, a day in the life of the Holy Family living here. Because this is where they woke up day after day after day and went to bed night after night after night. So let's start on a given day of the week. Mary wakes up first. It's still dark. She's not going to wake up her two men any faster than she needs to because they're tired. She wants them to sleep as long as they can. So she's the one that gets up and kicks the embers in the fire. See, they had a fire here in the center. They would kick up, she would kick up the embers in the fire, throw some more wood on it or whatever. Sometimes they used cow, cow or camel manure. And they would get the fire going again so that she could cook them some breakfast. And then she would light the oil lamps. And when I was down below, I noticed along the walls of the cave, all along these walls, there are little niches where they would put oil lamps. In fact, I think it might even show, no, I guess not. But where they, she would put an oil lamp, a little pottery lamp with olive oil and a wick. And there was this, give a nice mellow glow to the room. And at the last moment, she would wake up her two men. And she would, what do you think they did the first thing? Well, I don't, they would pray and this thing. But you know, what's the first thing I do every morning is I go in and use the bathroom. Now, I don't want to be crude here, but just think about this. The Holy Family didn't have bathrooms here. We're living in a village. Caves, and if you want to say 10 people lived in a cave, that's probably the population of Nazareth. 250 at the most, 300 people lived here. I'm sure Steve told you that, Joseph. We just arrived here at Abair Shulamit, that's our bus park down there. We came up these steps and we came into this historic building where the peace accord was signed with Israel and Jordan, I think it is. And here we're going to take you in and show you uh, everybody eating. Here they all are. The uh, orders are being taken, the wine's being poured, as you can see. And a good time what did you say? A good time is had by all. Oh, that's great. And here we are. So, we're ready for dinner at a bear. We smoke here fish and meat. So, upgrade 
a, a meal that you don't have in the menu. It's the smoked lamb ribs as well. You can order it. It's a very nice meal, very good, tasty, and not fat. Uh, I will pass over every table to. I need the, the main course from each one of you. So if you please just have a look to the menu and I'll be doing this in a We have been about the education of ourselves and the ways of your son, his mother. We ask that you continue to bless this pilgrimage that we are on. Bless us as we enjoy this gift of food that you have given us.